Well, the pandemic has certainly been hard enough on all of us, but today we're talking about something that actually could complicate it even more when it comes to our mental health this winter. That's right. It's seasonal affective disorder. Between that, COVID, school shutting down, winter coming, and being stuck inside, it could be a recipe for some not-so-great moods, Auntie Krabitha. I, exactly. That's my code name at home, Auntie Krabitha. I, I worry about this. Joining us now is our friend, Dr. Laura Saunders, a psychologist at the Institute of Living. Yes, my Auntie Krabitha does come out more in the winter anyway, so this is going to be, for a lot of people, probably tougher um, because of COVID. Right. And as you said earlier, Kara, I mean, it's, it's, no, it's been known for a long time. It was always just called the winter blues. And, you know, but it actually is a, is a diagnosable condition of those individuals who really, who's, who may have underlying vulnerabilities to depression and anxiety, but it gets much worse in the winter months. There's less light, it's more cold, so less time outside, more containment, more isolation, and it can get pretty serious on top of these COVID restrictions. So how do we go about combating? I mean, we're losing sun at a, you know, a minute, minutes, a minute and a half to two minutes a day now until uh, the solstice in December. How do we combat that? Well, the, one of the best things that you can do is get outside, right? We've been pretty lucky this November. We've had a bunch of days over 60 degrees. Um, there's light therapy. There's a bunch of light boxes that you can get on various, you know, shopping sources. Um, there's vitamin D. Vitamin D is what we're lacking when we don't go outside. Um, there's, you know, if it gets to that point where it's really debilitating you, you see your primary care doctor, you see if there's medic some medication that can help you. Um, but these are some really serious things. And on top of these restrictions, when, when we could connect with other people, it made it a little easier with more and more restrictions, it's gonna make it harder to actually connect with people. Hmm. So you mentioned getting outside. I, I, I just was doing a story about these people who live in Norway where they have no sunlight at all for two months a year, yet they're happy. And one of the things they do that they bundle up, they get outside no matter what. So nature really helps. And if you're getting one of those light boxes, it's important that you not just get the cheapest one on Amazon. The only thing clinically proven is 10,000 lux, right? Right. And there's actually a bunch of guides out there that tell you what you should do. And it's like 30 to 45 minutes a day. Uh, usually you want to do it earlier in the day because that's when you want to kind of get that vitamin D coursing through your system. Um, and, you know, I think talking to someone, right, if, if you don't have to go into therapy, but, talk, you know, talking to a friend, talking to a sibling, you know, let's get back to using telephones and not just texting, hearing people's voices, um, doing things about real connection, um, because I really am worried about folks for the winter. And, you know, I don't know if this will be a mild winter or a, a snowy winter. Um, but with the restrictions more and more and not being able to eat out and not being able to do a lot of things, I'm, I'm worried about folks. What, what, what do you actually do, Dr. Stone? Do you sit in front of the box for a certain period of time each day? Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I, I liken it to the old sort of makeup mirrors that you actually sit in front of the box for a, a chunk of time. And you, don't, you, you do it, again, for like 30 to 45 minutes, often in the mornings to simulate uh, light. So the more you can do something that will, and again, you could also take vitamin D supplements, um, but doing things that help you, I do think there's nothing better than natural light and getting yourself outside. But as it gets colder and colder, people are less willing to do that. But it is sometimes about like bundling up and making yourself go out there because it's good medicine for you to go outside. You know, I just, my mother-in-law got me a little hat with a light on it. And I used to think, okay, it's cold. It's I mean, for me, cold is anything, you know, 50 or below. Right, exactly. <laughs> but I've started to, because I, I don't want to feel that way. So uh, getting out in the morning and walking, even if you can't do a really vigorous exercise, a lot of studies have shown that if we just get up with the sun, it can really alleviate a lot of these sad feelings, right? Right. We're diur what, we are diurnal creatures. We are not nocturnal. The more we can get up in the morning and be up during the day, when it's when it's light out, it's actually just better for our brain. It just helps our brain function better. You know, I worry about a lot of these teens that that want to stay up all night and sleep all day, especially with remote learning and, and a lot of the different changes. That means you're just in front of a screen all the time. Um, so I know it sounds overly simple, but getting outside, going for a walk, I mean, rigorous exercise would be awesome. But even just being outside and walking around the block is something. This is the dumbest question you're going to hear probably in your lifetime, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Does sunscreen prevent us from absorbing the vitamin D from the sun? 
Well, I'm not a dermatologist. However, a dermatologist, you know, if you would look up some of these sites, it does prevent some amount. I think there's some recommendations about what level of sunscreen, like you don't have to necessarily wear the sunscreen 50 uh, that you can wear kind of 15 or, or 30, um, but that some amount of actual direct sun exposure is actually really good for your mental health. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times doctors have said to me in interviews that try to get about 15 minutes of Unfiltered, unprotected, unprotected, but dermatol right. it depends on your skin cancer risk. Right, and exactly. I know. But thank you, Dr. Saunders, because it's a lot of good information and just even giving people some time to plan ahead, get those vitamin D supplements now. They say we're all deficient in this part of the country, yep. unless you're having like five right. cans of sardines a day. Always a pleasure speaking with you. We look forward to next Wednesday. I, I do too. Be well. Okay, you too. Take care. Thank you. You can always call uh, right on the Hartford Hospital website. Um, you can reach out, and they do a lot of mental telehealth as well, Dr. Saunders and others. So get help if you need it.